Stocker operators thrive on growing cattle on available feedstuffs. There's no one-size-fits-all plan. And even if you're aiming for a high-quality end target, Oklahoma State University research says that's okay. I think the good news is, especially if you have really high-quality genetics, there's a lot of different management approaches that you can use to achieve those high-quality grades. The kind of forage doesn't make as much difference as total gain during the growing program. A live body weight going into the feed yard is the greatest predictor of a positive marbling score or quality grade during closeout. And so bottom line is trying to, to get the maximum gain out of those cattle during that stocker phase appears to be important for the final outcome, maybe more so than, again, the type of forage that they graze uh, or whether or not we supplemented with starch or some other energy source during the stocker phase. That may be a switch in philosophy for some. What hasn't changed is the idea that gain in a backgrounding program should never go backward. So we need to make sure those calves have adequate energy so that they're, that they're growing at a rate that meets their genetic potential throughout their entire life cycle. And, and I believe in that scenario where producers are really going for high quality, maximizing that rate of gain, again, to achieve uh, the body weight going into the feed yard, the body weight uh, coming out of the feed yard is also going to result in achieving the genetic potential of that calf to marble. And so you're going to be able to capture the highest quality uh, by always having that calf in a positive plane of nutrition throughout the entire production cycle. I'm B.J. Scott.